Hey guys, Luke the Drifter here in the backyard at HQ and just going to do a quick video showing you a couple of things today. Uh, one is this uh, folding cam table. It's a new product from Drifter Stockton and uh, I won't say it's tricky to put together but you need a few tips and um, so I'm going to show you a few little things how to put this together. Uh, also going to do a video on putting up the Drifter Stockton Hexatarp Large. So that's it there, that's how it comes in the box. Um, and I've got one here. Okay, so this is brand new, haven't, hasn't been opened. Straight out of the box. Uh, and you can see the size of it, so it's quite light and compact as well. Now I've also got, uh, you need it, it, it's, you don't have to, but it's handy to have a couple extra poles uh, on either side just to um, help hold the sides up. Now most people got poles, we do have a heap of uh, 1.8 uh, light thin poles coming. They're like uh, 12 mil, no, about 15 mil. They're coming, um, but you know any any poles will do. I've got these here today. We've got a few of these available. They're they're quite a, a thick pole. Um, I got a heap of these in for the rain tarps, and I got a few left over. But they're a bit thicker. But I'll use those today. Also, it's got some screw pegs. Um, you know, it's not a bad little product. Or a good little product uh, to go with the hexatarp and uh, I'm going to chuck them in this little bag so this is called a, a flat sleeve clear 450 it's a, a flat, flat sleeve clear bag uh, 450 by 220 so that's on our drifter website and it's just a good size for putting your uh, screw pegs in right that's so we'll just get straight into it there's yeah, a few things that you need to consider when setting up the hexatarp. Okay, that's it there, straight out of the box. There's the tarp and here's the poles, poles and ropes. Okay, so straight away with the ropes, there's going to be two, the nice thick ropes, there's going to be two here that are bigger than the rest, and then a few uh, smaller ones. Okay, so these will be for the ends where the poles go, and uh, these other ones here. We don't provide pegs with this kit, okay? Uh, most people got plenty of pegs. If you wanted to get some extra ones, these are pretty good, or we've got lots and lots of pegs, but the kit doesn't come with pegs. Pretty easy though to combine it with some of these here. So what we might do first is uh, lay this out. And if you do it the right way, okay, you should be able to set this hex top up on your own. A little bit of wind without any problems. looking for is these two points here okay so that's one end and you look down the seam here you'll find this other end here so you can see that that's that's the end that uh, the large pole goes on to so when you set it out yeah that's going to be the lengthways there and uh, you know you configure it whichever way you sort of want but that's that's how it's going to sit that way. Two poles, ropes out that way. Uh, okay, so that one. Okay. So one pole's going to go there. One pole's here. Two, three, four, five, six for the smaller rope. So, let's just 
okay that's the way I'm going to put it up and uh, that's aligned pretty nice where I want it there's a real trick with this okay so this point here you the long pole this is the way I'm going to lay it out so I'm going to lay this directly out this way right to here this is right there now from there that's the alignment we want to go uh, perpendicular this way and this way here now you can leave a peg there and here. All right. Now you can bring this back and just uh, fit that on there. Right. So that's not going to blow away, and that's sort of held that spot. Right. So that's the point there. It doesn't have to be exact, but it is important to get these about right. Okay, put him on there as well. That's that side, and that's that side there. Right, you can slip that on there. One's going to come out to that point there. And without pulling it off, one will go there. Okay, same again. On there, let's pull it this way first. this one out there okay so this is the point what I wanted So we can just do those up a little bit. Keep them a bit loose, but you can see I've done it up slightly there. Tie these on. Get those ready to go. Now, once you've uh, used this once, right, you're not going to have to do this again. These ropes can stay on here. A couple of ways you can do it. Good old half, two half hitches, like that is fine. All right. Well, the other way you can just do a loop, just a granny knot, like that, and that can go over the pole as well. All right, or you can, um, yeah, we'll put that one over the pole. In there. So these are 2.4 poles actually, but if you leave one section out, they're going to be 1.8. So again, just because it's windy. I'm going to get these ones ready to go. So you can see the alignment here. All right. I like to put them about 
this far out as well, about 1.8, and it's nice to get it sort of lined up, also perpendicular. one of the long poles, stand him up. Okay. Just like that. Now because these ropes here are already done up, that'll hold its own weight just there. Come around to this side here, okay? Just move them to the centre a little bit. Right, because you're not sure if we've got those exactly right in terms of the tension. Okay, but you can adjust that by having this pole on an angle. So we just want to get it up first. So as you can see, it's freestanding now. And I'm going to just start to add these ropes on. these points as well all right there's uh, two ropes come to these these main pegs all right so you've only got six pegs for the whole car so yeah that's important that this this point here uh, comes to the same peg and that's the way it's designed that it pulls like that Now we can go and add this pole. As you can see too, you could just pull this out with a rope, no problems, and the tarp's up. But it is nice to have a couple of poles that you can add on the sides. Right, on there. That's it. Now the advantage of this tarp is it's a very light, very lightweight piece of kit. It's very small, you know, as opposed to say a gazebo, uh, three threes of nine. This is about 18 square meters. So the shade this gives is about twice the size, the shade of a gazebo. So 18 square meters underneath. And you imagine two three meter gazebos, quite big and heavy and bulky. And this small package does the same shade. So what I'm going to do now is just go around and tensioning him up. Okay, so I'll start here. Get that pole. I like to have it just on a slight angle back, like that. Okay. And you go around, just do your ropes up almost as tight as you can. You want to pull it nice and tight. So I've pulled that one there. Okay, there you go. I'm not sure how long that was, but less than 10 minutes. Uh, it'll be quicker the next time around because the ropes will all already be uh, tied on. And you can see the amount of nice shade that gives you. Uh, good thing also with the hex tarps is you can put your tent, any sort of tent off the sides here. You can lift it up a little bit higher, for example, and back your vehicle up into here. 
you know, shade and shelter is really important in the Australian um, bush when you're camping, both for shelter from the rain and the sun, which we can get any time. You know, it was pouring rain this morning, seven o'clock. Um, been really hot ever since. And now the clouds have just suddenly come over. So, you know, we could get rain again this afternoon and uh, without a big shelter or a nice shelter, you know, it makes it very hard. So, very small package, sets up really nice and large. And um, this is a product too that I had up last year. Okay, set up right here in the backyard for three months over summer. Okay, we're looking at the uh, UV um, on the on the stitching and the external webbing here. So, you know, we had it up for three months solid last year, last Christmas. Uh, it was like December, January, February, and the tent, the awning has held up really well. So no problems at all. Alright, so drift to stock and product. Um, that's it. So, what I'll do is I'll grab the little table, show you that, and also a couple of the chairs. This is a product we got some prototypes of, and initially I wasn't um, super excited. But I showed Kaido and he was really excited. So it, it's probably a product that I wouldn't have, you know, I might not have moved on. Um, but, uh, and that's actually the same as the rooftop tent. You know, Kaido was extremely excited about the Wildland rooftop tent. And, um, you know, we're a different generation and we've been doing a lot of different things. I've grown up background manufacturing for 20 years and, uh, you know, we've got a different perspective a little bit. But together, we're working really well, actually. Kaido's, of course, a new generation. For him, weight is critical. And when he saw this table, I asked him straight up, why do you like it? And he goes, because it's so light, you know? And that's that's the big thing. So there's two pieces to it. Okay, just drop the legs down, like a little card table stay, put them in place. Then it folds out. So this is the tricky part here. All right, so these, these unclip, swing around. And what you got to do is twist this piece here, right, and it locks in onto this section here. Alright. Twist around, locks into that section there, okay? Now, this here, inside this little clip is a small raised piece here, okay, you can see that? And that's going to go inside this hole. Locate. So it does have a, a piece to locate it. See on this one here? All right, so there's a small divot there. Goes in and locates. That's it. So it's quite a large table and uh, very light. Okay, details are all in the cart. Strong, light, uh, we've anodized the top so it's not glary and put our nice little drift stock and brand on there as well. Now the good thing also this is it's dual height so you can fold these around. So it makes a great sort of kids table, um, coffee table and yeah you've got the benefit of those two heights. Here's a couple of our reclining chairs. All right, so All right, just open them up like that. Pretty easy. On the back here, it's important. This piece comes up, locks in place. All right, so that's it there. Same for uh, folding them down. You've got to pull this down, and that lets you fold it up. All right. So these are also quite a light chair. Make sure it's spread apart like that. We've got these in two colours. Had these down Stockton Beach the other day and put this stand on. 
All right, pull that piece up the back, and that's your chair there. So, makes a great height, you can see there. Kids for this would be great, and uh, you know, makes a really nice set with the chairs. Good thing with this chair too, you've got your really nice bamboo handles and you've got three settings. If you have a look on the side here, all right, there's three settings. Look at that. So, yeah, you can sit upright, you can sit back a little bit, or you can lay right down. With a pillow behind your head and something to put your feet on, you know, you could pretty much, you could sleep in that. So, yeah, really happy with these chairs. Um, to have that folding for adjustability in the back is uh, a really nice feature. Look at that, so. All right, a couple of quick, uh, yeah, show you a few things. Um, how to put the little table together, the chairs, and also the hexatarp, so. All right, thanks guys.